Hello friends, today we are going to get idea about very interesting unit that is unit number 4. So this fourth unit is a transgenic plant as a bioreactor, isn't it? You know very well that we have been learning paper 5th plant biotechnology and unit 4 that is transgenic plant as a bioreactor. As I used to say that transgenic means what? Transgenic plant is nothing but the plant containing foreign gene underline this word plant containing foreign gene is known as a transgenic plant plant uh, transgenic organism is nothing but the organism containing foreign gene that's all then what is bioreactor my friends i will tell to you bioreactors means such a type of a vessels such a type of a we have to say that the instrument or such a type of a part in which actually there is a interaction takes place reaction takes place in between substances and biological things that is nothing but the bioreactor i will tell you simple example that is of a production of a gobar gas the tank of gobar gas in which actually we are adding the gobar adding the dung into that one and that dung is always we have to say that interact with the microbes and produces the very very valuable product that is the methane isn't it so that is a gober gas methane is there now here what happens actually in that tank there is a interaction there is a reaction takes place between the microbes and substrates or substances isn't it so that tank is known as a bioreactor similar way suppose such a type of a organism such a type of a plants we have succeeded to produce the bioreactor Example I will tell to you vaccine that is well known to you now word very well because of COVID-19 Suppose there is a vaccine right now it may be that we have to say that the Covishield or Covaxin or Pfizer or many more Sputnik such a type of vaccines are there Suppose the scientists succeed to introduce the gene or organism which is used in the production of a vaccine that is of a COVID vaccine if succeed to introduce a gene from that organism into the plant and suppose we have got in our hand a banana fruit in which vaccine is there covid vaccine is there so what happens actually in such a cases this was, that is possible so you have to keep in my friends uh, mind my friends actually that things are nothing but the plants now the which produces the vaccine is known as a bioreactor how that bioreactor plant we have produced by addition of a foreign gene into its body now here is the definition of a bioreactor bioreactors are the culture vessels but that culture vessels are used for the production of a large scale production of a some valuable products from the microbes that is known as a bioreactor. Similarly, some transgenic plants are also used for the large scale production of a certain products. Hence, they are believed as a transgenic plant bioreactor. Transgenic plant bioreactor because foreign gene containing plant is known as a transgenic plant. And that transgenic plant produces the valuable products on a large scale. That's why that are known as a bioreactor and both when we will combine at it that is nothing but transgenic plant bioreactor is there they are used to produce such a type of a bioreactor plants are used to produce vaccines used to produce interferons and again why used to produce biodegradable plastics if we succeed to do all these things then there is no need to set up the industries, no need to set up the purchase some costly chemicals. Right now, we are depend upon foreign countries for the raw material of a production of a Covaxin or Covishield. Suppose we succeed to make the plant to act as a bioreactor for the production of a valuable products, then there is no need for the costly chemicals no need of costly equipments and no need of a skilled workers or staff isn't it because anybody can able to grow the transgenic plant 
the proteins we you have to keep in mind there are a lot of we have to say that valuable proteins which are too expensive to produce in a microbial processes which are with the we can with the help of a microbial processes with the help of using microbes that is possible to produce but cost is very high of that proteins which are valuable to the human mankind so that we are interested just to develop all these things into the plant means we are going to convert transgenic plant means we have to make them to be a bioreactor for the production of a valuable products my friends cyclodextrin so actually what is this cyclodextrin cyclodextrin is actually carbohydrates isn't it this is synthesized and stored in a different cellular compartments isn't it starch and its derivatives are synthesized in a plastid in a chloroplast sugar and sugar derivatives are produced in a cytosol in the cytoplasm and accumulated that throughout the cell the proteins synthesized and stored in a vacuoles isn't it vacuoles proteins not protons till that proteins are synthesized and stored in a vacuoles cyclodextrin you have to keep in mind cyclic oligosaccharide containing 6 to 7 or 8 glucose molecules in alpha beta gamma or other linkage respectively cyclodextrin is synthesized from the starch by the action of a cyclodextrin glucose transferase enzyme it is used a pharmaceutical delivery system flavor and odor in enhancement and removal of undesirable compounds my friends i will tell to you cyclodextrin no doubt is synthesized in a plastid that can be synthesized in a vacuoles also so what is this cyclodextrin what is the role played by this cyclodextrin actually this cyclodextrin is used just to, to remove the undesirable smell from many more compounds which are useful to the human being isn't it so coffin is there that coffin can be removed from the food coffin is a we have to say that undesirable compound that can be easily removed from the food so that food can be enjoyed by the human being and this actually cyclodextrin can be isolated from klebsiella but suppose from the klebsiella gene we have transferred successfully into the potato then potato will be the foreign gene containing means the gene of a klebsiella is there into that potato plant then that plant will become the transgenic potato and that can produce a cyclodextrin so cyclodextrin is produced in a potato my friends you have to keep in mind here actually this structure is a chloroplast in this chloroplast what happens actually cyclodextrin here cyclo dextrin is produced that is because of cyclodextrin glycosyl transferase so starch is there the starch is converted into cyclodextrin by the action of a cyclodextrin glycosidyl transferase so this is in plastid this is actually cytoplasm area the air also and this is vacuole so in the vacuoles we have to say that sucrose is stored from the sucrose fructans what is this fructans that we will see in the later we are learning about right now the cyclodextrin isn't it now another most important thing in case of this cyclodextrins are cone shaped ring this is a structure eight glucopyranose subunits are there into that one they are hydrophilic in nature and can pocket the hydrophobic compounds due to this property due to this characteristic of a cyclodextrin that can be used in a therapeutic agents to solubilize the hydrophobic pharmaceuticals such as steroids most of times we know that we want to give the steroids to the human being just to recover from the specific pain diseases but that steroids is insoluble that can be made soluble because of cyclodextrin make so that is also most important thing is that so key enzyme responsible for synthesis of a dextrin 
from the starch that is namely cyclodextrin glycosyl transferase and actually is identified gene code for this enzymes are transported to the potato plant so in the clebacella specific cyclodextrin synthesizing gene is there that can be isolated and that can be introduced into the potato plant and then we have to make potato plant just to synthesize act as a bioreactor and synthesize the cyclodextrin which is very much useful as a therapeutic agents in the sense pharmaceuticals we know that most of the steroids are insoluble into the water but when that steroids will get joined with cyclodextrin and that cyclodextrin is a pocket of a hydrophobic compounds then that is possible to dissolve the steroids now fructans just now already i have said to you fructans is synthesized into the vacuole that we have seen the fructans is also known as a polyfructans which are soluble polymers of a fructose actually fructans is what is fructans fructans is nothing but the polyfructans are soluble polymers of a fructose soluble polymers of a fructose they are synthesized and stored in a cellular vacuole they are synthesized and stored in a cellular vacuole short chain fructans oligofructans short chain fructans of like oligofructans are almost as sweet as the sucrose we know that most of the our diabetes patient never can eat the sugar containing products food but if we use fructans like a sugar in that soft drinks or in that food products and that can be eaten by the diabetes patient so that is very interesting thing is that another advantage of this fructan is that it is a low caloric value low calorie sweetness is there so transgenic plant potato plant can fructosyl transfer a gene from the streptomyces now as we have seen in case of the development of a cyclodextrin into the potato we have isolated the gene from we have to the clebaciella but when we are interested in case of producing a fructans into the potato plant which acts as a bioreactor potato plant that is possible only when the streptomyces gene the gene which have capacity to synthesize a specific fructosyl transferase gene transferase isn't it enzyme fructosyl transferase enzyme and that enzyme lactron will be help to synthesize the fructans low caloric value as sweet as glucose or fructose or sucrose and that can be we have to say that it is a fructosyl transferase enzyme will enhance the synthesis of a fructans in recent years oligofructans of the sugar beet with suitable genetic manipulation have been produced and the serve as a low caloric sweetener low calorie sweetener so this is all about the fructans so my friends as already i have said to you we have to make the plant as a bioreactor by introduction or addition of a foreign gene into them as we have seen in case of the cyclodextrin and we have seen in case of that is nothing but fructans we have to get out of the bioplastic we know that the right now the plastic chemically produced the plastic is a playing havoc or creating we have to say that danger to the human being and most of the animals yet either they may be in the sea or may outside we have to say that the sea means terrestrial organisms that a yogurt body is going to get so now just to solve that problem we can we have to say that produce the plastic that is nothing but the bioplastic because that is produced from the plant itself or 
living organism so that is bio is there and plastic so biodegradable such a plastic is definitely biodegradable we know that right now the in the market whatever plastic is available that is not degradable that is recyclable but that is not degradable so here we can get the plastic from the plant itself living organism itself and the plastic can be again degraded by the living organisms or this bioplastic chemically having a name that is a polyhydroxy alkanoates phs they are currently being produced in a large quantity by microbial fermentation microbial fermentation process is there through which in which bioplastic production is possible among the bhas bhp that is a polyhydroxy butyrate is the most polyhydroxy butyrate is the most important one several experimental studies are in progress to produce the bulk of quantity of bioplastics in plant phb production in a cytoplasm takes place now production of a phb which is mostly used and most important bioplastic is this one phb the starting from acetyl coa pyla polyhydroxy butyrate is a three stages pathway involving some enzymes into that one that is 3 keto thiolase aceto acyl coa reductase and a phb synthetase a synthase synthetic the three genes coding to the respective enzymes are isolated from the acaly genes eutrophous and cloned the cytoplasm of the plant cell like for example arabidopsis is there contain three keto thiolates therefore in initial experiment only two genes coding aceto acyl coa reductase and phb synthase that are transported to develop arabidopsis by this approach the quantity of bh b b h p p h b we have to say here p h b poly hydroxy butyrate p h b is there was a very low another limitation was plant had a stunted growth because of that one production may can get reduced my friends here you will be able to say that one word that is a molecular farming farming means a sheti molecular means molecules we have to get develop into that sheti isn't it so metabolic engineering is there so molecules are nothing but the carbohydrate proteins enzymes are there lipids fats so we can use compounds that is a carbohydrate plant that is potato in which amylose free starch and application into the food industry is there so we can use a transgenic potato and that transgenic potato will be able to develop the high amino starch and that is used in a food and industry cyclodextrin is there that can be synthesized into protein that can be used in a pharmaceutical industries fructans are there that can be synthesized in tobacco maize potato sugar beet and it is also used in a industrial area and food is there lipid same conditions are there if you go through this uh, i have to say that the table the applications of that molecules isn't it means carbohydrates and lipids you will be able to understand now my friends this is a diagrammatic representation just to see the synthesis of a we have to say that title that is a cytoplasmic synthesis of a bioplastic that is a php chloroplast plus a synthesis of a phb that we have to learn here now here you will be able to see that plastid is there in the sense chloroplast is there acetyl coa isn't it from lipid synthesis takes place that acetyl coa get converted into aceto acetyl coa because of 3 keto thiolase enzyme now 
the second step aceto acetyl coenzyme acts to convert this aceto acyl coa into 3 hydroxy butyric coa now this 3 hydroxy coa butyric coa is get converted into polyhydroxy butyrate in the sense phb biodegradable bioplastic that happens things all things are happens in the plastid itself in the chloroplast isn't it my friends so you'll have to keep in mind how the things are going to happen in case of synthesis plastid now here similar way here you will be able to in the cytoplasm also the things are going to happen acetyl coa aceto acetyl coa then 3 hydroxy butyric coa that converted into polyhydroxy butyrate so here these are the enzymes aceto acetyl coa reductase and 3 hydroxy butyric butyryl coa converts into the polyhydroxy butyrate by the activity of enzyme that is phb synthetase isn't it so you have to keep in mind my friends such a type of a valuable products can be produced now production of a polyhydroxy alkanoate copolymer this is a most important bioplastic of a commercial point of view my friends which one polyhydroxy alkanoate copolymer the most important bioplastic of commercially important genetic engineering approach makes the plant as a bioreactor and to produce phb and actually this phb production that is found as a steep and bristle not rigid steep in the sense not rigid in the sense bristle means some we have to say that uh, like epidermis uh, like epidermal outgrowth is there since it forms a highly crystalline polymer the other bioplastids composed of a polyhydroxy alkanoate copolymer is polymer made up of a longer monomers it is less crystalline and more flexible as compared to the phb so what happens actually phb is a we have to say that little bit having a some disadvantage and just to overcome that disadvantages PHA are produced from intermediate beta oxidation of a fatty acid notably 3 hydroxy acetyl coa acyl coa and some success reported in the production of a PHAs through the genetic manipulation of a peroxisomes and glyoxisomes now my friends this is the actually sketch or diagram is there which gives us a stable gene expression strategy for the production of a desired proteins in the plant as already i have said to you we have to make the transgenic plant as a bioreactor they will be able to produce a valuable products that may be the we have to say that proteins are there or maybe fructans or cyclodextrin like or bioplastic like here the things are going to happen what the things are going to happen here if you will see this the protein targeting sequence is there that ligates to the vector and transgene is attached there isn't it so protein targeting sequence is there and transgene that both are attached here that is introduced into a organism that constituent become a here terminator fragment is attached this is a hybrid dna and consultant promoter 30s now this tissue specific promoter then genetic transformation through the biolistics method or through agrobacterium mediated method so this agrobacterium infect to this plant containing this specific genes isn't it protein targeting sequence and desired protein synthesizing genes which is isolated from the microbes so that are introduced into the agrobacterium tumefaciens such a type of a recombinant dna and we have made this plant transgenic plant and this transgenic plant feeding of a edible parts to the human and animals 
and from this plant extraction of a valuable product that are protein is a possible here. My friends, you have to keep in mind there are some examples of a vaccine produced in a transgenic plant. Human heat liable entetoxin B which is synthesized into tobacco and applied for the protection against the E. coli. Now cholera CETO X A and CETO X B subunits can be synthesized into potato that works against the vibro cholera. Isn't it? Here envelope surface protein that can be synthesized in tobacco and in potato that will be used to cure the hepatitis B. Now the rabies virus glycoprotein that vaccine can be produced by the tomatoes, transgenic tomatoes that will work against the rabies virus. My friends, you know that whenever a dog get bite to the human being, that human being will have to take the injections of a anti-rabies. And there is no need to take the anti-rabies injection because recombinant protein vaccine that can be help that plant and help that human being who is injured with the bite of a dog. So such a type of a very useful things is possible with the help of a transgenic plant as a bioreactor. With this I have to say that thank you very much but before that I will tell to you my friends many more uh, very interesting terminology, very interesting products, very interesting procedures, very interesting terminology we have studied in this today's topic that you have to remember very well. Try to understand the concept of each and every. With this note, thank you very much.